Hey everybody, it's Shinklox, and today I'm going to show you how to texture a mesh object in Roblox Studio. Because one of you guys commented on my last video and wanted to know how you're supposed to do that. So let's give it a minute. So the first step is to just get a random object by pressing Shift A. And I'm just going to select cube and we're going to take this cube uh, some different colors. Okay, so the first step you're going to need to do is grab your uh, object that you're going to do and come up here until you see these four bars. Press and hold your right mouse button and try to it out. It's not really wanting to walk. Oh, there we go. Until it's like that. Then on this side of the screen, you're going to want to go up to, to, to this part of here and hit the UV editor until you see this. Select your object, go into edit mode, and then these right here should pop up then on this side you want to hit the letter the key U to smart UV project then just hit OK and then that will happen so now we're gonna we're gonna over here keep, keep your cube selected on this side over here you wanna select select the uh, actually no you want to go on this side, deselect everything, go into face select and select the faces you want your, for your texture to be. So I'm just going to select all these for my first color. Then I'm going to hit B to box select, drag it, hit S to scale. Hit G to move and just move it down there. Now I'm going to select these two ones right here. So, uh, let's see. Starting to rain. So, uh, it, let's just get on to it. So, B to box select. S to scale. G to move. And I'm just going to move these. Right here. So now we're, we're done. So you, now what you want to do is, so now we're gonna bring this cube into into Roblox, so we can put the textures on them. So you want to go into texture mode, which is up here. Hit that. Wait for it to load, and your cube should be just plain white. Then go up to file. Hit export wavefront.obj and export it to where you want it to where you want it to be. I'm just gonna call it cube.obj. Once you've done that, you're gonna need to go and open up Roblox Studio. So let me go do that really quick. So up up here where it says workspace, left click it. Go down where it says insert object, click that, and no, click that, and then type in mesh, oops, mesh part. Then take, take this little square, and you want to head over into its properties. Hit this folder and then find your find your cube or object that you've made. Mine should just be called cube. Here it is, cube. Hold on. Yeah, here it is. And if you see that thing popped up, either XL or just hit no. So here's our cube. Let's give it 
bit of a scale by holding down holding down the right mouse button and shift and scaling it at the same time there we go now that we have our cube, we are going to now fix up the texture for it. So head over back into Blender. Uh, go, in, go into go into edit mode. Select everything. Then you want to deselect everything here and head over to where it says UV hit export UV layout save it to where you want to save it I'm going to call this cube UV export now you want to you want to he head over to a photo editing site called Canva. I'm not sure if I spell that right and you just want to create an account it's easy as that and then we can move on from, from there okay so once you have created an account or if you already have an account and logged in you want to head over to where it says all your designs and I'm just going to select this old one here wait for it to load completely okay so once you've done that you I'm just gonna delete these you want to head over to uploads and you want to hit upload an image or video and then find your your UV that you have exported from Blindo. So mine should be called it is cube UV open. It should pop up here, just wait for it to get done uploading it to the website. So once it's done you click on it, then you have it and you just scale it out like this. It on just scale it out like that and something's wrong you oh there then once you're done doing that you want to find your colors now I, I know I have a lot here but I'm just gonna get the ones that I have downloaded downloaded and uh, uploaded them so once you have found your texture or color picture on the internet you want to find it in here and here, here they are so there's one and here's two put that up okay so number one is done that's the red so I'm just going to put the red you want to take it and put it right on top of your cube pieces like that and for the blue let's put two on there for the blue I'm just going to put it right on these two pieces just like that so once you've done once you've got done doing this, you want to hit download up here, hit download. It's going to say preparing your design. Now it couldn't say this, but then just hit X out. X out and it should be downloaded down here. So now you want to head over back to your back to in studio to your cube or whatever you chose. And now we're going to be put it, putting the texture on. So let's let's get the oh 
I forgot you have to go and create it as a decal first. Go here. Then just let it load. Then you want to hit choose file. And then find your UV that you downloaded. Use mine. And now I'm just going to call this to cube UV. Upload. There we go. Now you want to hit, now you want to go to it and co copy the numbers that are up here. Copy. Okay, now you want to go back to in studio, select your cube, go inside the properties, and where it says texture ID, paste in the, the numbers you, you just copied into, and there you go. We have a texture for the cube. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Please like and subscribe and comment down below if you thought that this was helpful. Don't forget to check out my merch and join my Roblox group and stuff. I'll see you guys in the next one.